What's going on YouTube? Legend here once again. This time at you again with some more Genshin Impact. I wanted to sit here and tell you guys my honest thoughts on Yolan. Yolan actually, I must say, I hyped her quite a bit um, before her release because I was hype about her, all right? Like, I, I've been very hype about her. But I must say, Yolan not only met my expectations, but she exceeded them. And I'm just here to say what my honest thoughts were. The positives and the negatives, maybe a couple negatives, but the positives and the negatives about the character, what I really think and what her value really is. All right. Um, but first off, right off the bat, let's just jump right into the controversial. Um, when it comes to Yulon versus Shing Cho, is Yulon better than Shing Cho? My opinion, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes she is better. That. Like, I don't know what to tell you, all right? I can sugarcoat and say, oh yeah, you know, um, the defensive capabilities are safe. I don't care. Let me tell you something. When I when I go into the abyss or when I do this and that, and I beat content and I'm using Sing Show, I'm not sitting there thinking like, damn, I'm glad that I had that damage, that damage reduction with Sing Show. Or else I wouldn't have beat that. I mean, yeah, I know, I'm a whale, whatever. But like even when like I wasn't that like powerful in the game because I wasn't always like this big filthy whale and I had Shing Cho before that really didn't affect me because normally when I'm using Shing Cho I'm using I'm also using either uh, some type of healer or some type of shield so like that didn't really matter to me as much um, I mean it is different for everybody so some people do like his defensive capabilities but for me personally and what I've experienced with the game and what I've seen other people experience with the game it just I'd rather have the more offensive power that Yolan has given me, right? With that being said, I, I do think that Yolan overall is a better unit than Ching Cho, but it is still debatable um, in terms of C0. I'm talking about C0, because once Yolan gets constellations, it's not a it's not a it's not a question anymore, all right? But C0 versus C6 Ching Cho, it is still debatable. I think Yolan not does it, but you know that's me. In terms of her kit. Um, like I always knew that her burst was going to do, like I actually did the math and I knew the exact amount the burst was going to do, um, with her at C0. Um, I actually have my Yolan at C4 right now, but I mean, I'm, I'm going to be showing footage of like, you know, her performance at C0 versus C4, but, um, I did play with her a bunch at C0 and she was great, but I have her at C4 right now, but her kit at C0. Um, I really feel that it was that it was very it was impressive. I was very, like it was one of the characters that um, if you had a few times where I was actually satisfied with the character at C zero. I mean, granted, I always had my eyes on C four, but like at C zero, I thought she was just fine. Um, but the main thing that I actually underestimated about her kit was her E. I didn't realize, I never actually calculated how hard he was going to hit. Like, I just did some rough math and, and tried to figure it out from there just based on her HP is going to be. But, like, I didn't really see, I didn't really notice how powerful it was going to be. Because when that thing vaporizes, which is very easy to vaporize if you're using her on a vaporized team, um, like, it hits like a truck. Like, I have gotten situations where she hit, she's hitting like over 100,000 on her E. Like I didn't I didn't expect that. Like I didn't like I was just focusing on her burst and what it's going to do. I wasn't paying attention to a breakthrough barb, which does hit okay. Um but I didn't realize her E was going to be that powerful. So that's one thing that I that really just blew my mind when it comes to Elon. Like her her E is just it's, it's just something great, you know? Um and also I didn't know that it was going to give that minor crowd control that it does. Like, yeah, the crop control isn't like huge or game breaking. It's not like a Kazuo E or anything, but like, it does give some slight crowd control, which I was lacking on my Wu Tao teams, which is which is great, you know. Um, but um, also the thing with her too is how flexible she is. I mean, I already knew how flexible she was going to be. If 
You can use Sing Show on the team, you can use Jalan on the team. But a lot of these situations, I wouldn't use Sing Show because, like, why would I use Sing Show when I could just use another character that's going to give me more damage um, overall, like buff my character, so on and so forth, like with Raiden and, and so on and so forth. But now with Yawn, Yawn is buffing the damage because of her passive. So, like, now I enjoy using her with Raiden, and I enjoy using her with Ayato. And, and other characters and so on and so forth um, besides just Futao who I mainly want her for. Um, so her flexibility is actually, has, has definitely uh, impressed me some, you know, when it comes to that when I've tried her with different teams. Um, like, like I use her here with, with Ayato and like, I mean Ayato is like one of my favorite characters I don't use him too often. Um, but like I couldn't, based on the teams he had, I couldn't really one cycle with Primo Gio Vishap with him. But now with Yelan, even though this is C4 Yelan, so I mean, you know, you, can, you take it as you will. But like, it's just she's able to buff him up because of how he's constantly procking, you know, her her um, her burst by just constantly just just holding, you know, down the attack button. So you know that that's definitely a plus right there. Um, so, um, and also in the future, maybe when Dendro comes, she's gonna play a bigger role. Um, and yeah, that's the thing with that. So I, I, I really like when it comes to her flexibility. You know, she, she's, she's a good unit. But speaking of which, um, when it comes to how she works with Utao, you've probably seen some footage by now of me using her with Utao um, and how she works with her at C0. Um, in terms of when I say that, uh, at the end of the day, um, when it comes to Hutao specifically, Shing Cho by himself is still a better support for Hu Tao because he makes her vaporize. Granted, she does buff um, Hu Tao with um, she does buff Hu Tao with her um, her passive, but just a simple fact: the more vaporizes you get with Shing Cho, um, is going to just just outdo that that um, that extra damage you're getting with the passive. But but as many have said. I mean, as I even said before in previous videos, was that the best way to do it, which actually seems to be Wu Tao's new best team, is to use both Xing Cho and Yelan together, because you're getting even more. Because Xing Cho doesn't make 100% of Wu Tao's charge attacks vapor as it can, but like it's it's still luck sometimes. But with Yelan also doing it, everything is going to vaporize. Everything's going to vaporize, and it's it's just going to be a beautiful thing. And you're going to be getting the passive. And you're gonna be getting all the off-field damage. You know that I prefer to use Zhongli um, instead of Kazuha, but I guess the most meta way to use it is to use Kazuha um, to buff the hydro damage that's coming out. Um, so there's that. But I prefer to use Zhongli because like he's just debuffing everything. Um, <clears throat> that's the thing when it comes to that. Um, also, too, if you don't want to use Jalan and Shing Cho together, um, one thing that I found that works. I mean, some people said, oh yeah, you know, just, you know, try not just try to whiff the normal attack. That's too much. I think one of the best ways to use Yolan without Xing Cho with Hu Tao is to have another character applying another element, right? So for me, I use Ganyu, right? So Ganyu is constantly applying Cryo in her burst. Um, I'm using support Ganyu. Um, uh, alternative to that would be using Rosaria because for most people, using Ganyu as a solely support is a bit of a waste. For me, I can do that, but you know, if you do have that option, go ahead, try it. Um, I use Ganyu, and Ganyu is also applying Cryo. So with Ganyu applying Cryo and Yelan applying Hydro, you're getting um, more chances of getting your melts and your vaporizers off um, instead of just whiffing all together and just getting just the straight pyro damage. Um, and it also helps remove, like, because one of the problems is that once with Yelan by herself, once um, Pyro gets applied, it's hard for the Yelan to retake um, the application. Ganyu's gonna help with that. I've also seen people use Fischl, you know, you can do that. I don't wanna do that because I don't like those overloads throwing people away, but um, it actually does work. You can use Fischl, um, you can use Rosaria, like I said, you can use Kaya. Um, so yeah, so you, can, so you can do that where it just kinda just takes off that extra Pyro application uh, so which allows you a lot to put hydro back onto the unit so Utao can vaporize once again. Um, so that definitely helps. So she at C0, she does work with Utao. People say, no, she can't work with Utao. Yes, she does. You just have to know what to do in order to make it work. 
and when you do do that it actually does cause more damage so it is worth going through the extra trouble trying to figure out how to make it work um, in my opinion um, I do feel that it's, it's just smarter it's just a smarter option so that's when it comes to that right but easy way to do it is just do you on the shing show together um, and then easy peasy vaporize have a good day you know um, that's the thing you know but it's not like I do love hyping up Yolanda because I really love her as a character she's become one of my favorites but I need to talk about yeah her negatives because she does have them um, negatives that I have noticed while testing her out is the fact that we have one like I was just saying before she doesn't vaporize all the time for Hu Tao that does have a solution but it can be an issue um, if you don't have the proper supports but also too is her energy right now you need to have a good amount of energy on her I do feel that a good solution to that is just use Favonius Warbow um, but you need to make sure you have about 180 to 200 energy recharge on her because if you don't do that you're gonna be scrambling trying to get energy for her to get her burst back up right just like how Xing Shou is kind of just attached to a sacrifice or short unless you're using Raiden um, ah, it's kind of the same with her she's kind of just stuck to her energy recharge weapon or, or energy or energy recharge sands um, so that's the thing when it comes to that you got to get rotations right um, you need to just make sure she has a good amount that's why that's why emblem is such a good um, set on her because she has to be stacking a lot of energy recharge and that's just the thing you know like I had different sets for to use with her like I was trying to use tenacity and, and um and uh, the hydro set, but it just, it's just, it's just, I just need that extra energy recharge. So that's the thing when it comes to that. Um, that's one of her negatives, really. Um, I don't think that, like people say her field time was a negative, but it really isn't. Like you can just do the tap E and she doesn't take up any field time at all. As I usually even faster than using Shing Cho's E. So I, I, I don't worry too much about that. That's, I think that's really the main issue with her is just her ER, um, just to making sure she has the right amount of ER and to make sure that her burst has as much uptime as possible. Um, but that's the thing with that. I mean, she's a great fun character to use. I, I enjoy using her. She, she's great. I, like I, I love every second of it, honestly. Um, her at C4 is just, it's just so much fun. I love it. This is, I mean, if you're not a whale, this doesn't really concern you too much, but. I gotta say, her C4, I gun for her hard because no other character buffs um, HP in the game except for her now, right? So now my Hayato's hitting harder, my Hu Tao's hitting like a truck, you know, my Zhongli shield is stronger, all the kinds of stuff, you know, everybody's just a little bit more tankier in the team. Like, it's just such a great, great constellation, I think. I mean, her C2 is arguably her best constellation. Well, I mean, we're not counting C6, but her C2 is arguably her best constellation because that opens up the ability to be able to vaporize more often, more hydro applications, so and so forth. And it actually, that does hit pretty hard, um, that, that C2. But that C4 is just, oh gosh, I love it so much, you know? Um, she's just quickly rose up to just be one of my favorite characters, and I love her for it. And, I, and that's, that's really my thoughts on her, really. Like, as you can see, it's just constantly just positive. I think she's great. She's everything that I want her to be, and then some. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think of Alun? Um, she does have pretty high sales, so a lot of you do have her. So comment below what you, what you think about her, if you do like her, um, or are you trying to get her. Um, what are your plans? Are you thinking to go for Kazo instead? Let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you like content like this, like the video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can get more content like this. Um, and with that, I'll end it there. Legend out.